In this tutorial, we're going to model this uh, train station made by uh, Santiago Calatrava. You probably heard about him. I just wanted to show you how, uh, like what the quickest way is to model this kind of uh, canopy and the techniques that I would use to, to create it. So uh, it's pretty actually, it's not that difficult. Uh, we just need to create one segment and then we'll, we'll do it from there. So first off, let's start with creating some kind of, uh, some kind of road like here. Uh, this will be, this will be the road or the train station. And now we're gonna build around it. To this. We will be using uh, these plants for this. Let's go to the side view and let's create a simple uh, this plane plane. So let's create simple this plane plane here. And uh, let's modify it a little bit. So the way that we want to actually create this is by uh, having this. Let's first uh, remove the creases and then let's let's extend these. Like so and these as well. Okay, now we don't need these. And what we can do is actually scale them down a little bit. And this part will go up. I'm actually going to delete these inner ones and just play around with these guys. So basically this will be <coughs> this will be our um, uh, this will be our module in this middle part here. So now uh, once we have uh, once we've established the module we can actually put this back to Rhino and we can actually cut it here and here. So from now, from here, it's, uh, let's split this. Okay, so this is our module. Now we want to actually uh, divide it into multiple segments. Uh, I calculated there is actually 13 segments here. So we want to create 13 divisions. Like so. Uh, and from here, um, I'm going to actually uh, extrude some lines like so and the thickness would be let's say 0 0.05 and here 0 0.05 both sides
Okay. So now, uh, once I have this, I'm going to actually mirror this on the other side as well. Okay, so now let's go with let's go with trim. You can actually trim from the view directly, which is quite cool. And there you go. So now we have our our shape. Uh, the next thing would be to actually uh, mirror this from the other side. And to move it from here to here, like so. And now now we need to connect them. So this will be like a frame. So one thing we can do is actually Let's first mirror this guy and let's create a single one then we'll copy the other ones. So this will be the single one. We're gonna offset it inside. Distance of let's say two. Solid yes. And this is this is our frame. Maybe it's too big. I'm gonna go with 1.5. And that's that's fine. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing for for the other ones. Okay, so once we have uh once we offset it all the uh, the elements uh, I'm going I'm going to group everything and now let's uh, let's mirror mirror it uh, but I'm going to mirror it without this initial so I'm gonna remove this guy from the group just for a second and let's mirror it from here like so okay so now let me just ungroup everything let's select surfaces that we have delete them we don't need them anymore let's select the curves we don't need this one and this one so this is our module now now the thing is just to copy this multiple times uh let's see how how many times there is so 19 so this goes 19 19 times uh so i'm going to uh remove again one from here and I'm going to have here a reference point and let's copy this 19 times
here it is so this is our train station uh, let's rotate it and let's unhide this geometry let's say that this is the look we wanted you want to raise it up a little bit and let's move this to the center and there you go uh, this is our uh, train station from Calatrava uh, so now I'm going to render this and show you the, the final result uh, and uh, hopefully you found this useful and if you like this kind of content uh, please feel free to send me any suggestions of any buildings that you would like to see modeled or if you have any anything else apart from architecture that you would like to see modeled and I'll make sure to do those tutorials as well here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.